Welcome back to Active Duty Outdoors. This video is of our wreck diving this last uh, weekend down in Pompano. It's a pretty exciting trip for me. A special trip for me is my, my first ocean trip after starting my dive master training. And this is, uh, though the, the dive that you're watching right now wasn't an actual dive master course, it was just a dive that we wanted to take while we were down there. And we were able to get on the Captain Dan on perfect conditions. I'm talking like the ocean was as flat as can be, which was, you know, awesome for the boat ride and then awesome, made uh, some awesome great visibility as you can see in this footage. Uh, I don't normally narrate these videos, but since this uh, this one was so cool that I, I felt that just putting music on it wasn't going to be enough. So, as you can see, we're down on the wreck right now, down by the captain's wheelhouse. This thing was loaded with barracuda. Everywhere you look were giant barracuda. It was... It was pretty awesome. So the Captain Dan wasn't originally the Captain Dan. It was originally a Coast Guard tender named the Hollyhawk. And in 1990, she was sunk to the bottom of the ocean to be part of the shipwreck rodeo off of Pompano Beach. She sits at 110 feet to the sand and 80 feet to the wheelhouse. So she's an advanced dive. Make sure you guys get your advanced certification before you attempt it to current. This day wasn't bad, but I heard that, you know, depending on what the, depending on what the Gulf Stream's doing, the current can get pretty pretty dicey so uh, that's something to keep in mind while you're down there The amount of life and coral on this ship was insane. As you can see, the coral is kind of taking over, making some of the swim throughs almost impassable just because the coral is so thick and, and growing out. Um, we didn't really attempt too many of the swim throughs on this one. We did go down in, in a part that were, was um, pretty much open and just kind of, um, so we did get a chance to go in it a little bit. So this is my first trip to Pompano. I dove West Palm Beach a couple of times and, and went on a couple of cool wrecks out there like the Anna Cecilia is also another really awesome wreck that you guys should check out if you haven't seen it yet. But being new to, to dive in Pompano, if you guys have any recommendations on some awesome dive sites around that area, just leave a comment below. I know we, we made it out to the first reef on a night dive, which was pretty dang cool to do at night. We went up to the jacks and then took the jacks out to the first reef. But if you guys have any other recommendations on some good dive sites, put it in the comments below and then uh, next time we're down there we'll, we'll have to go check them out because I know that Fort Lauderdale by the sea is considered the wreck capital of Florida and way too many things to see in just one weekend. It's going to take a couple weekends to, to really get a good idea of what we're, what we're diving on down there. Here we are, getting ready to penetrate the wreck. Gonna go through a big opening at the stern. And it opens up quite a ways down here. There's, there's a lot of cutouts in these swim throughs, so if you do go in, you, you know, you got an exit point pretty much everywhere you look. This is my favorite part of wreck diving right here. Going through that area and just kind of imagining what the boat was like when it was, you know, fully operational. And, was actually running missions out of the Bahamas to refuel Air Force planes or you know breaking through the ice up in the northern states when it was a Coast Guard tender and then just you know traveling the world on missions to, to do the missionary stuff it's 
It's insane to think that people were walking down this corridor right here at one point, and now we're swimming through it like it's a swimming pool. I think that's the uh, that's definitely the coolest part of my boat. That's that's why I like wreck diving so much. Just the the history of it. It was actually a pretty fun weekend for us. We took this day, we dove this and the Okinawa on the first day, and then we went out for a night dive, uh, which I led and failed miserably on my navigation. Um, so we, uh, it was kind of a wash for that night dive, but we kind of made up for it the next day. The next day was, was actual diving with some of the, uh, the guys getting certified through Southern Ocean Sports here in Valdosta. They were doing their certification dives, and then we went on another night dive, and that's when we went to the jacks, and then took the jacks out to the first reef, which was, like I said, insane. Turtles everywhere. Like, I've never seen so many turtles. Turtles, octopus, hogfish, you name it, we saw it down. Nurse sharks. I mean, there was so much life on the jacks in that first reef, so you guys check that out, too. I'm definitely, definitely check it out during a night dive. Here's Lance and I just kind of still making our way through the ship. This, uh, this little corridor kind of opened up in the midship area and then brought us back in over to the corridor again. And then it, it swims right out, right back out to the uh, head towards the bow. So you guys down in Pompano and and that area down there know that this boat was named after Captain Dan. Uh, from what I read on the internet, he was pretty pretty well-known fisherman down in the area. Had the honor to have this shipwreck named after him once they sunk it to make it part of the artificial reef. So, so that's pretty cool. And like I said, I like the history of it. So I went back and researched all this stuff on on all the ships that we dove just to to see why they were put where they were put and what the history of them where you know where they came from. So. That's pretty awesome. Anyways, like I said, uh, leave a comment below. Let us know what you guys think of the Captain Dan if you dove it and then let us know what other dive sites that we're missing out on. It's a, kind of a must-have, must-do dive when you're in the area. And if you like the video, don't forget to hit that like, hit the subscribe button. It just kind of, it helps out the algorithm for YouTube. Bumps this video up, lets other people see the awesome shipwreck, Captain Dan. And then it also, you know, helps the channel grow and uh, gives us more motivation to go out and dive and make more videos. So I appreciate you guys' support. Anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, I got a couple more videos coming up from our dive that weekend, so make sure you guys hit the bell, hit the like, and subscribe so you guys get notified when those ones are up too, and you see some more cool stuff down in Pompano. Alright, see you guys later. Peace.